What's up, you two? Alright. So, I know a lot of people nowadays have those uh, PC fans in their grow boxes. There you go. Something like this. And then they got a little, uh, little setup like that where they rewire it to uh, a USB cord and then uh, just plug it right in there. But I'm going to be using this fan for an exhaust system. Because I know odor is a big deal with a lot of micro grows, even though that it could be only like one to three plants. But when the time comes, you don't want someone finding your plants just from the smell of it. So, first thing I did is if you're, if you say, if you like, think your plants are too weak or not your plants your fucking fans are uh, not out taking enough air get one of these AC DC adapter this is a input AC 120 volt output DC 10 volt power supply I think this was for like an iPod dock that broke the speakers blew out but this increases the fan air outtake by I'd say about half it it does the job alright so let's get on to the design of what I've been researching and kinda came up with so I found this aluminum type can french fried onions nice alright so pretty much I'm gonna take this this is six inches by the way so if you really wanted to you could put a carbon filter hooked up or this is four inches my bad you could put a carbon filter hooked up to this uh, some ducting ducting and uh, it's it's pretty easy to work with so this is pretty much what I did first I took a can opener cut out the whole aluminum bottom took the cap made it just pretty much it's not that it's not the neatest, but that's pretty much what I did. I just took a knife and kind of cut that out. So put that on right there. Alright, so it kind of looks like that. Alright, next. This is this this fan actually just broke on me, so I kind of just took the wires out just to show you guys. This was my main fan. I'll have to be getting a new one soon. But this is a this was a really powerful fan when I had it hooked up to this uh, AC DC adapter. It's a 12 volt, 0.7 amp hydraulic bearing, one way AVC computer fan. So, pretty much took that to a belt sander, rounded out the edges, and you see this? It just slides right in there. And look at that. <sighs> fits perfectly and what I'm gonna do you get some Gorilla Glue or some hot glue and you just put it right there right there just all around there or you can even cut out like a piece of cardboard and put it over and just make a circle because the fan isn't all square it's actually a circle if you kinda look within the fan but you pretty much make it like that and what you can do is a, I know a lot of fans come with these little itty bitty, like fucking, their little rubber pads are like that big, and they, they're about that tall, and you can just put them right about here, like kind of where your fan lines up, and you could even sand this one down, and just stack that right on there, and you'll have twice the, uh, twice the air outtake power, and won't be it'll be a lot a lot uh, quieter than a big ass fucking inline fan which costs another sixty dollars or so so this is my setup what I got right now I'm just working on this trying to make this shit legit as fuck but I'm just gonna take the fan out so this is what I'm thinking just put that right there and then I'm gonna cut the Cut the back like that, and then 
what I'm planning on doing, I got some of this screen right here. I'm going to hot glue, a Gorilla Glue halfway, a screen, pour in some carbon filter until it fills up to the top. Put another screen or maybe some pantyhose over it. And then have the double outtake right, right there. And then I'll outtake all the uh, hot air. And then that should be good. Got my little intake right there. Got this fan. It's a little less powerful, but when it's hooked up to the the AC DC adapters, it's enough air. You don't really need that much for input or intake, whatever. All right. Um. What else? What else? Oh yeah, like I was saying, my box is kind of messed up because I had to glue these two speakers together. So I kind of put some cross boards. Kind of, I'm kind of regretting right now. I could take it apart and make it even better, but I just don't feel like taking the time to do that. But uh, I think this really solves the carbon filter crisis, I guess, for PC grow boxes and other small boxes. So, like, comment, subscribe.